All right, thanks everyone for joining us again. So this is the main component to our final series of summer meal kits. Um, so we did our risotto cakes, we did our aioli. Uh, so now we're going to be doing, composing the main part. So it's going to be a grilled sirloin steak with roasted potatoes, sauteed Swiss chard, and chimichurri. So this is going to be the chimichurri part of the of the dish right now. So for those of you who don't know what chimichurri is, it's a it's a condiment from Argentina. Right? It's very similar to a pesto. It doesn't have the cheese, but it has the oil. It has some garlic, shallots, jalapeno, red wine vinegar, olives, salt and pepper. Um, I have my parsley and my cilantro over here. Uh, it's equal portions. This recipe calls for a half a cup of each. Uh, so we're just going to chop some up real quick. Get it measured out and then we'll go into uh agitating it and bringing it together i'm going to take my cilantro right it's already been washed all everything's already been cleaned uh i'm gonna cut about that much off put that away i'm just gonna roll it up nice and tightly all right so we're looking for about a half a cup more than enough here so I'm gonna go ahead and do my parsley now same thing and get rid of the rest roll it up nice and tight uh, for those of you who haven't picked up a knife in a while you don't feel so don't feel you have to rush into this <laughs> Take your time. All right, so we're gonna put that off to the side. Measuring cup. And that's about half a cup on the money. Perfect. So I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna uh, come back, wrap it up, and bring it all together with the olive and the, and the vinegar. Thank you. All right, so we got our parsley and our cilantro chopped. We have our garlic, our shallot, and our jalapeno in here. All right, we already have our oil and our acid measured out, and uh, we have some salt and pepper over here. So we're gonna go ahead and take our freshly cut greens. We're gonna go ahead and add that to this. Get everything out. All right, we're going to add our acid, which is red wine vinegar. Right, I like to add it from the outside instead of the inside. It's easier to incorporate. I'm just gonna kind of give that a little mix. Have that cilantro and parsley kind of absorb that acid, right? And then with our fat, we're just gonna add a, we, it doesn't matter if we add it quickly or slowly. We don't wanna like dump it in there. We are, we're making a temporary emulsion. So it is gonna separate, All right? I'm gonna stop, just bring it back together a little bit. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. Bring that back together a little bit. I'm gonna add go ahead and add the remainder. This this sauce it, it, it's pretty uh it's not a very smooth sauce. It can be if you have a RoboCoop or a blender. You can put all these things together and put it in a blender and do it all at once. Uh, we're gonna add some salt. Just a little pinch. Um, the lovely thing about, about the uh, chimichurri is like you can use it as a condiment, you can use it as a dipping sauce. You can marinate your steaks and grilled chick and chicken in it and put it on the grill. Like it's very versatile. We're gonna be putting it on top of the steak after it's been cooked. Uh, this is what it's looking like right here. I'm gonna we'll whisk it up and we'll see in a few. All right, hi guys. So I'm gonna show you um, what to do with these baby red potatoes that's going to go with um, your steak that we'll sh Chef Izzy will show you how to make later on. Um, so it's red baby potatoes and I just cut them lengthwise so they're like this and I already have some prepped into my water 
and I'm gonna get my potatoes, put them in a separate bowl. And then I'm gonna toss it with olive oil, salt and pepper, or salt, pepper, garlic, or paprika, whatever seasonings you would like. And then toss them. And after they're all nice and tossed, you're gonna wanna put it on a sheet pan um, with parchment paper or foil and put it into the oven. Okay, once you have your potatoes ready and your oven turned on, you want to make sure that it's um, at 375 to 400. If you want a nice browning color on your potatoes, you'll want a higher temperature. It just depends on your oven. You know your oven best uh, at what temperature you'll need for your potatoes. Okay, so here are my potatoes. Um, I have them in there from 25 to 30 minutes. Um, just keep an eye on them. Uh, as you can tell, they have this nice coloring on them. Uh, I had it at 400 uh, to, to get this color. All right, welcome back. So this is going to be the veg portion of our main. So today we have Swiss chard, which when the menu in the mid, when the meal kits come out, try saying that three times. Um, not sure what it's going to be. It's going to be a seasonal green, but we're going to show you how to break this down right now. So it's already been washed. It's been cleaned. Um, we're going to utilize the whole green. So we're going to take this and we're going to pull it off the stem, All right? We're going to use the rib and the leaf. I'm going to put that aside, All right? That like that, All right? And then we're just going to cut this rib up, take it all the way down. Set that aside. All right, and then we're just gonna take our greens and just do a rough chop on it real quick. Just like that, and we're gonna do this with the remainder of this. We're probably gonna lose about 50 to 60% of this, like the greens is gonna like super, super shrink down. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up on a break, and when we come back, we'll show you how to saute it up, and then we'll go into making the steak. So now we're going to get into the grilling of the steak portion. So these are the steaks that we'll be getting. So it's a sirloin. Uh, it's actually between the top sirloin and the bottom sirloin. Uh, it's, it's very tender. It's also known as a breakfast steak. They're super flat. Uh, we're going to be grilling them. I've had my grill on probably for an hour now, medium high. It's super hot. It's well seasoned. I've uh, hit it with the oil towel so it doesn't stick. Um, for those of you who don't have a grill at home or just like think it's too hot outside to go outside and turn the grill on, um, you can totally do this inside in a regular pan for the same amount of time, same technique, everything. The only thing that would be different is a pan as opposed to a grill. Um, so, all right, we're going to season our steak. I like to season really high so I get good coverage, all right? Meat and salt really like each other, so don't be too scared, all right? All right, well seasoned, and then we're gonna go to the grill. We're gonna grill these for about two minutes on each side. So we're at a grill. We have our potatoes going. We're keeping them warm on the grill. We got our meat seasoned. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and season this grill one more time, right, just to prevent any stickage. It's already been cleaned off and brushed, All right? So we're gonna go ahead and set that down. All right, come back, grab my steaks. Right, so, right, always away from me, right. Nice hot grill, you can hear that sizzle when it hits the grill. Right, so we're gonna cook these for about two minutes on this side, uh, probably about a minute, and then we're gonna hatch it till we get those hatch marks, we're gonna cross it, we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna pull it off. We're gonna let it rest and while it's resting, we're gonna go ahead and make the greens and then we'll go into composing the dish from beginning to end. So we flipped them over, it was about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, right? And we got these nice little hatch marks and we went ahead and flipped them over, right? So I like to flip mine over once, 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 and then turn it the other way because I like it to cook evenly from both sides. 
Um, some people like to turn it this way, then this way, then this way, then this way. Personally, I don't think it cooks evenly that way. Um, so we're gonna let it cook for about another minute on this side, and then we're gonna flip it, turn it over, and cross it one more time. So when we get those hatch marks on this side, we'll be back. So I got my hatch marks on one side, but not the other. I kind of flipped it over. I just wanted you guys to see what they look like. These are done to me. Uh, I'm gonna pull them off. I'm gonna let them rest. We're gonna go into greens, and then we're gonna do a plate up. All right, so we have our steaks resting. We have our potatoes heating up. Um, we're gonna let those probably rest for about two minutes. Probably actually the duration of the time that it takes to actually saute these greens up. So I have my pan going, right? My butter's melting. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this, not too much, kind of like extend the burning point on that butter and give it some flavor. All right, I'm gonna take some of my ribs, my stock, I'm gonna put that in. Not too much, we're only doing one. Turn my flame up a little bit. It's got beautiful color. Uh, you know, for me, like when, when I'm cooking and when we're teaching the culinary class, for those of you who remember, like I don't like to season anything until after, like everything's already been cooked. Like we can't, we can't take the seasoning out at that point if we add it too early. Right? We can always add to, we can never take away. So always keep that in mind. Right? These are getting nice and tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some greens now. This is not gonna take very long at all. Right? Oh. Oh. Little salt and pepper. I'm gonna shut it off. Give it a little toss, we're gonna call it done. All right, so we have our chimichurri, we have our oven roasted potatoes, we have our saute char, we have a clean plate, and we have our steaks that have been resting. So for plate up, right, we're gonna take our greens, place them in the center. All right. Height, I like to go for height. I've always been a fan of height on food. We're gonna take some of our potatoes. We're not gonna use them all. Probably use five of them or so. Alright. Just to kind of give it a little landing here. We're gonna set those to the side. Alright, we're gonna take our steak hatch side up. Alright. Place it right in the center. Take a little chimichurri. All right, we're gonna give it a little whisk, just kind of bring it back together. All right. We really, you know, if you want to put as much or as little as you want, like, I really like the the acid of this sauce. Right? It's very acidic. All right. And we're gonna put it right on top. There you go. Our grilled sirloin strip with oven roasted potatoes, Swiss chard and chimichurri.